previously on air. Operations. They have to be able to operate out of somewhere. What better spot than a dead city? With almost a dead police department. Any luck from that tooth we got off the hide number that we took down? Only that the deterioration of the DNA markers was most definitely not natural. Which means it was caused by what? The person I've been trying to figure that out for the past month. Maybe Ray will have better luck. I will ask. Hey, you got a sec? Yeah. killed because his criminal operations conflicted with theirs. That doesn't track at all with what you told me about Andy. Oliver, that doesn't track with what I knew about Andy. But yes, I really never knew him at all. I thought he was an explanation. Maybe he was undercover. Oh, man, listen, it's all right there. The facts are the facts. All I'm saying, Andy was your brother, and he deserves the benefit of the doubt. Trust me, things aren't always what they seem. I was not going to like this. Not one bit. Flat is a good worker. And they listened to him. I didn't have a choice. He was going to kill me. Doesn't sound like something he'd do. Maybe, maybe he didn't have a choice either. Maybe someone put him up to it. Maybe it was revenge. Revenge for what? For Tyana. That drug-stealing bitch he choked out. That was her brother. Ah, thank you for coming by on such short notice. Oh, happy to have something to do. To be honest, I'm feeling at a bit of a loss of what to do with my newfound freedom. And height. <laughs> Is everything always this big? If you're looking for something to do, why not try... Mm, I don't know. Call yourself undead, try getting your company back. You said you had something that you needed help on? Don't change the subject. I'm not. I'm a recently undead billionaire CEO. My time is at a premium. What can I do for you? Thanks. I was wondering where my tooth went. John pulled this off of a ghost. It's their cyanide retirement plan. <laughs> we tried pulling DNA off of it. But half of the genetic markers are missing. It's impossible. You mean like a guy who can shrink to the size of a french fry? Impossible. Well, do you have any equipment? I'm fresh out of chromatographs. Uh, that? Can we circle back to why you won't come back to Palmer Tech? It returns exactly what our stock price means. That's incredible. <laughs> the genetic code has been selectively degraded. We know. We think it's this round of DNA markers that it can't be ID'd. But how? Well, it looks like it was done with a synthetic compound, like a chemical crispr cas name. Mm -hmm. Strapium trioxide. Well, then Biologics has a patent on it. Thank you. Okay, tomorrow night, Patrolman's Benevolent Association Gala. Black tie, she needs cuffs. Which one? He's got a 50. Uh, <laughs> maybe back in the day. I don't, I don't want to cuss. Get a rental. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. Every mayor in the history of Star City has attended the PBA. I secured a spot for you on the dais with the brass. We need to make sure that your keynote is on point. Which means we need to find a way to say that the police need our help without... Throwing them under the bus. Right. 
How about you fill to the class? A B minus. Thank you. Alex has a way of making life interesting. Sorry, uh, uh, wrong number. Uh, what were we saying? Uh, moving on to Oliver's platform. I got your email about cleaning up Star City Bay. Yes. You know, with everything the city's facing right now, a hippie crunchy program. A hippie, a hippie crunchy program that will add hundreds of jobs, help gentrify the surrounding neighborhoods, and encourage outside investment. And put voters to sleep. We focus on crime and jobs. Which this program will address. Hey, I will have a fresh ones tomorrow. I gotta take this. Okay. I think your brother's on to us. No. No, and even if he was, not like he's boss me. No, he's the boss of me. I'm glad your brother's not a killer. Speedy. Speedy? Um. Yeah? Sorry. It's a nickname. We have to go. Listen, he calls about the thing. The dental problem. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Um, our, our friend has a tooth issue. Good work. Clear for entry. All right, let's see what's next. We need a sample of the chemical. We have that Ray can unscramble the DNA markers and become a shot ID from the bar. What are we trying to find? According to their recently hacked computers, second floor, northwest corner. That's the yellow lane. Coming. Four goes north entrance. I'm on it. We don't know anything, not until we hear it directly from Andy. And how are we supposed to do that? We get him out of hive. Or how do you still be giving him the benefits of the doubt? Because he's your family. He said he was a good man. Maybe part of him still is. I don't know. I do. Last month at the lumberyard, a ghost had a chance to kill you. It didn't. I remember thinking how weird that was, unless that ghost was Andy. So he had a chance to kill me and he didn't, so I'm just supposed to forget he's a killer? No, but you should still remember he's your brother. I can't square that circle, Dale. That hive member was nothing like my brother. Madam was my brother's dead. He's dead. The brother of the prisoner that stole the drugs. But only because he put him up to it. You crazy. That prisoner attacked you because what you did to his sister. That's a lie. Bitch, I have a lot more believable than me putting him up to attack you. You know what? You've had it in for me ever since you found that nap. Enough. I have a means of divining the truth. Why did you kill that prisoner? Because he attacked me. Oh, come on, man. It's in the place where your hoax folks trapped. Did you have that prisoner attack, Mr. Queen? Hell no. You're lying. According to what, a bunch of twigs? Don't do this. You gotta hear me out. Him. He's the problem. He's the problem. Hey. What are you gonna do to him? Nothing. I believe the wrong should make things right. So, you wanted to see me. So polite, it's a bit atypical. Our guy gets slapped out enough times. He learns who's boss. Apparently not. I'm oh, sorry, what are you talking about? After our meeting last week, I had an unpleasant encounter with the Green Arrow and his compatriots. My security personnel are under the opinion that you call that meeting so as to create an opportunity to have me followed. So you security guys don't trust me. But what about you? Trust is an orchid. Beautiful, but delicate. Requiring ideal conditions in order to thrive. Without those conditions, it dies. Tread carefully, Quentin. Believe it or not, the death of your daughter is not the most terrible thing that I can threaten you with.
don't want to talk to you. Then why are you answering the phone? Because I... I would have told you I was stopping by, but you weren't taking my calls. What do you want? To help you. Those men you killed in Nanda Parbat. The effects of those deaths must be wearing off by now. That's fine. The bloodlust has returned, hasn't it? It's not it under control. You can't control it, Thea. Lawrence Tanner. A pedophile. Multiple accusations, no convictions. Lives three blocks down. The world needs one less pedophile. And you need at least a month of peace. I'm gonna go out. Okay. And when I come home, you better not still be here, or I am calling the police. It's hard to security detail if you want to see this one out. Yeah, I'll be at the bar. Well, has to be a better way than how you usually spend your evenings, dressing in leather and can't be bluff. There he is. I'm waiting for you on the days. Wait for this? Let's find out. Good evening. It is our great privilege to be here tonight to honor the Star City Police Department. These are a group of men and women who risk their lives for us on a daily basis. Never been an easy job, and it has certainly never been more difficult than it is right now in our city. These are the people that keep our streets safe, who watch over us. They protect us. For that, I'm grateful, and so is the rest of Star City. Not bad. Not quite as powerful as the Queen House, but not bad. Yeah. Maybe I should get him to endorse me. <laughs> I need a favor from you. The location of our docks for soldiers. It'll be a little difficult. There are commanders officers who want to let chat about how it doesn't cost me anymore. Wait, wait. Are you in danger? I hope not. But listen, when I was there, I saw something on his desk. Something about slip 52 down at the docks. Now, if the ghosts are there, maybe the one you're looking for will be there, too. Okay. Thank you. Hey, honey. Here you go. Club later. Yeah, it has to be. You're not a guy who's getting hammered. Do you want to talk about it? Real directed siblings are kind of in my middle house. It's like the same thing at all. Sarah wasn't really old. A member of their organization of killers. I'm sure there are a million things going through your head right now. All I'm saying is make one of them an appreciation for the fact that your brother is actually alive. Well, I, well, I so I can uh, hold off some kind of false hope that he might be decent. He doesn't deserve that. No, he probably doesn't, but you do. After Andy died, part of you died too. And now, now is your chance to heal. How am I supposed to do that? I had to look my nephew in the eye and tell him that he was never going to see his daddy again. The months after Andy died were the darkest times of my life. I would have to do anything, anything to get Andy back. I would have sacrificed my life. To have him back with his wife and his son. And the trade of my life was drinking. Mr. Queen, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Do you think you can get more funding for the SCPD? Well, that's certainly a top priority. That's great. Sure. sure. Thank you. Mr. Queen, huge fan. Thank you. Mr. Dark, I have some ideas on how I might contribute to your campaign. Did you Of course. Well, it's not just about financial support. I have strong relations in the business circles, the media outlets as well. It's all well and good, but I am running on a post. So I don't totally understand how you could help me win. Well, it's not about winning. It's about how much we could accomplish if we worked together. And not to be indelicate, but a lot has changed in Star City since your parents had sway here. The levers of power have changed. And not understanding that is what doomed Jessica Danforth's bid. Huh. What do you want, Mr. Dark? I read the press release about your new project. The restoration of Starling Bay. Reconsider your plans. Leave the bay as it is. What if I refuse? Well, well, then you no longer be unopposed. Mr. Queen? It's dark. I'm leaving the fire on the mountaintop, going undercover with the latest assassins, dating the hundreds. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just listing all of the terrible ideas you've had over the past three years, of which throwing in with Damien Dark has got to be the worst. I am not throwing in with Damien Dark. I am using him to get it high. Isn't Lance already our man? Lance has lost Dark's trust, making this the only way. You get yourself killed. You remember the last time you tried to take down an evil organization from the inside. This is different. Why? Because you'd be doing it as Oliver Queen? Yep. What about your mayoral campaign? 
You cannot be an effective candidate for mayor and Dark's undercover stooge. <clears throat> Taking down Dark is more important, especially now that we know that he has Andy under his thumb. First, there's a whole long list of things that we don't know about Andy. Second, you didn't decide to run for mayor to take down Dark. You did it to get the city something that the Green Arrow can't give them. Hope. Inspiration. Don't lose that. Not even for Dark. This man betrayed us. He sent an innocent man, a useful man, to his grave. He conspired against me, you, all of his brothers. Please. His punishment won't come from me, but from the one he sought to hurt. Oh, please, don't do this. Thank you. Come on, Clay. Please, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Five years thinking all of it was dead, so. Oh. <laughs> I can't imagine how tough it must have been for you, Pia. Sorry. You know, I should probably take this. Yes, Alex? Yeah, what's up? Hi, Becca. What are you drinking? Maybe I can buy you another. I don't think my table like that very much. Well, I don't see him here. You look like the kind of girl we're knowing yet. Come on, baby. That's your call to make. I'm not sure about anything. You know, when I first found out about the Flash and Lazarus Pit, what it did for Thea, I began to daydream about Andy being back. I would just play with that idea. My brother's back. as good as can be expected, right? Nothing really to compare this to. At least not this week. Lance has an intel force. Mm -hmm. 452 of ducks. Let's be checked it out. That whole area's been shut down for the entire night. Think the ghost has something planned there? And maybe your brother. Every time we face the ghost, it's Russian roulette. I'm not risking any of you for it. You're not. We're offering. Okay. Well, just us. The only world this one out. Okay. Gentlemen, you all come here from different walks, different paths, but all burdened with the same knowledge that this world is diseased. Fortunately, there is a cure for this pestilence. That cure, gentlemen, is Hive. Those little yellow pills you swallowed, they do a few interesting things, including making you cooperative. Now, I understand you all volunteered, and that's just as well. But I think we can all agree that in any chain of command, there can never be too much compliance. Perhaps a demonstration. Kneel. People of this city, what's left of them, at any rate, they call you ghosts. They have no idea how right they are.
you made it. Listen, can you give us a second? No, I think I should stay. I just uh, remembered I got that thing in the whatever. What's it? How do I let this go, man? I have. And you almost got yourself killed. I've been a lot closer to almost killed. And you made his choice. You don't know that. John, you saw what was going on tonight. Those men, those men were under the influence of something. Whatever pill is scrambling their DNA is also making them susceptible to dark suggestions. Right? Just because you have a blind spot for your family, don't expect me to as well. That, that's not what this is about. The hell it's not. Family is exactly what this is about. Criminal or not. Under the influence or not. Andy let his son and his wife believe he was dead for eight years, Oliver. Eight years! There's no excuse for that! No, John, I'm just, you don't know. Oliver, you don't know. You have this inexplicable way of excusing everything just because it's family. Oh, it's not inexplicable. I, I'm asking you... I'm asking you to hold out hope for Andy because I need that hope. I need to believe that no matter what happens in our lives, no matter how much darkness infects us, I need to believe that we can come back from that. It was exactly that thing that led you to the lead last year. It doesn't seem like you learned much from that. Felicity told you, you can get back with Doc Oliver. I don't see how you could even consider it. We are going to take this guy down, and no idea is off the table. Look, you're doing things differently, Oliver. Fighting dark on the inside is just fighting dark in the shadows. You want to do things differently. You want ideas? Fine. Just take this son of a bitch down in the light of day. In time. For what? Uh, roasted liquors with a little bit of coriander and sea salt. But in the third, removing the skin with a sharp rock. Wait, already. Thank you. Are you all right? It's a hard day. I have to. I have to tell you something about your brother. Blood? Is he all right? No. I'm sorry. What do you mean? Is he... I am. I'm very sorry. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I had Curtis grab some more toys so I could keep working on your tooth. That's okay. I don't think we're going to be using the table for eating tonight anyway. Oliver and John are busy fighting over John's not so dead after all, brother. Do I even want to ask? Let's just say you no longer corner the market on not being as dead as people think. Though in John's brother's case, he does have a pretty good excuse. Unlike some people, have you seen anyone? Of course not. I've been busy here working on your tooth. You're stalling. Wait, when you come back from the dead, you're supposed to start living again. What's going on? I've been catching up on the past six months. My company, my city, my life. I feel like Tom Sawyer watching his own funeral. Except in my case, nobody really cares. That is not true, Ray. Renaming Starling Star City is nice, but... And take a look at what's happened to the place. My company, this thing I built that was supposed to outlast me, is now on life support. Because it needs you. To do what? The same thing I was doing before I died? Obviously, that didn't amount to anything. Self pity is not a good look on you. I don't think it's self pity. I think it's self reflection. If I'm going to come back to life, I have to figure out what it is that I'm living for. Okay. I played around with your bicuspid a bit. Uh, yeah. The compound definitely broke down the residual DNA on the tooth. It's pretty inventive, actually. Is there any way to reconstitute the DNA so we have a shot at IDing these guys? Oh. Once the alleles are decomposed, they're gone for good. Yeah. So, since that was a dead end, I took another look at the polymer the fake tooth was made of. Uh, I found faint traces of sodium chloride. Thanks for water. There's no way that the concentration could be high enough to leave behind any sort of residue. It would if there was an unusually high sodium chloride count in the drinking water. Like, say, in a facility that was closed down for that very reason. Miller Psychiatric Center. You gotta admire their irony. Damien Dark keeping his army of bad guys in a defunct loony bin? Not bad for a guy who thinks his life didn't add up to anything. They're gonna outlive that one. Everyone clear on the plan? You know, I wasn't the first 80 times we went over it, but now I think I got it. What's going on, guys? Felicity found a probable location for the ghost space of operations. These guys are not gonna be easy to take out. How do you feel? I'm not trying to take down the ghost. We don't have the man power. Don't answer any. As Oliver nearly got himself killed trying to help Andy, I'm not letting you do the same. I'm sorry, but it's not really just up to you. I did everything that I could to bring my sister back, and I think your brother deserves the same. No, no. As you said, I don't think he does. 
I don't know what Oliver told you. He told them the only two things that matter. Andy's under Dark's influence, and we need to get him out. Cannot you risk your life for someone who does not deserve it? That's your call. We've made ours. Let's I can expect to see you at work tomorrow? Ah, uh, no. Can't keep doing the same useless and effective things. You know, I gotta do something different. It will take some time and figure out what that is. But uh, it'll still include the occasional superhero whenever you need me. Where are you going? Well, I have a long overdue chat with my brother. I hope you were right. Me too. You were right about what, Dark? Thought about what you said and how to fight them. I'm gonna do it in the last day. Good. What do you have in mind? Let's see. Hijacked the yacht that we were working on. I was a dive instructor. Blood with deck hand. They killed everyone on our charter and they brought us here. What happened? With blood. Conlon. Yeah, you double monster. Wait, wait. I'm going to kill him for what he said. Conlon is. He's terrible, but he's not a problem. He's just a pawn. A pawn for what? For fighter's plan. What is this? this is a map. We 
on you because it leads to whatever writer was looking for. Can you follow it? Not without a detailed survey map of the island. Where would we get something like that? Well, I had an idea. It's a long shot. It's worth a try to get there. I'll need your help. Thank you for coming. Are you sure you don't have the SCPD waiting for me in the kitchen? I'll be so paranoid. You did threaten me with arrest the last time I popped by. So, did you reconsider my advice? Yes. And I'm still not going to take it. Look, I think I might have found a different way for me to control my bloodlust. One that does not include killing people. What does it include? Damien Dark. Last night we went after Hyde and I ran into Damien. I've seen what he can do with his powers, but when he tried to use them on me, it completely backfired. And my bloodlust was gone. It's made a beast for a little while. So what I want is for you to help me figure out a way to make that permanent. Crunchy programs, right? Always happy to admit when I'm wrong. Good luck out there. Where's the family? Uh, you're fine. She's getting started. So, I haven't been arrested for battery yet. I keep thinking you would have killed him if I hadn't stopped you. I just had a really bad night. I guess I'm just asking if maybe you could be a little patient with me. Thank you all for coming. My, uh, my campaign advisor doesn't think that saving the Bay is the right fight, given the state the city is in. But I'd like everyone to know that I'm not blind to Star City's problems. And I wouldn't be here today if I wasn't confident that this program could help solve them. And the reason I chose the Bay is because it's in the center of the city. It's out in the open. For everyone to see. The fight to save Star City isn't going to be fought in the shadows. It's going to be fought in the light of day. And I promise you, all of you, that I will never stop fighting to save this city. Yeah. 